Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple is simply just not stopping. Again today, releasing another update for iOS 14, 14.6 developer beta one yes it was on a thursday which is quite odd i've seen this before but it doesn't happen often apple has yet to release ios 14.5 it's still sitting in rc and it's still pending so we'll talk about that in a future video but for now let's take a look at ios 14.6 developer beta one now if you have an ipad this is also available for ipad users now there's something quite interesting happening here so if we go to general and software updates here this ipad is running ios 14.5 rc but down here you see it says also available ios or ipad os 14.6 we'll talk about this in just a few seconds and as i mentioned it looks like we blink and apple releases yet another update let's take a look here at the developer portal so aside from ios 14.6 Beta 1, as you can see there, the RC pending release as well. As I mentioned, iPad OS 14.6 is available, RC pending release. Watch OS 7.5 Beta 1 is now available for the Apple Watch. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. Let me know in those comments down below. And of course, TV OS also received an update, TV OS 14.6. Developer Beta 1 is now available as well. Let's head on over to some of the release notes here for the latest iOS 14.6 Beta 1. Now, Apple doesn't specify a whole lot for this beta. There's actually a few things happening here. If we go to new features in iOS and iPadOS 14.6 Beta, it says here, down here you see that it says you can now directly update your iOS or iPadOS device to the latest release candidate without removing the beta profile. After you install the release candidate, you can choose to update to the next beta or uninstall the profile to remove your device from the beta program. And that's what that image there that I showed you on iPad looks like. So that's what that is right there. You have the release candidate and down here also available 14.6 so 14.5 release candidate also available 14.6 at this point you can download the latest and final release candidate and then remove the profile from your device if you don't want to be a part of the developer program or you can simply just go update to the latest beta and the next major update after you install you still do have the option also available as you can see right there so yeah i took a screenshot of that but quite interesting that apple just doesn't stop ios 14.6 by the way for those that may be interested let's head on over to to general about and right here we see the bill number 14.6 beta 1 18 f 5046 f and of course this software is just now in beta 1 there's going to be probably a month or two of testing at the late at the least and uh, of course apple will continue to hopefully add new features and changes i don't see anything major happening with this software although this is a major update we went from 14.5 to 14.6 which means apple could be working on something here but we'll have to wait and see as of right now no major outgoing face and changes here on this software but we'll have to wait and see what apple has in store as of right now that is one of the latest new features where you can update to the latest rc and remove yourself or your device from the developer portal and that new option in settings pretty much is the only thing that i can come across now stay tuned for my follow-up video of course i'll be digging around the software we'll have to wait and see where this takes us again available for iPhones and iPads alike. It looks like Apple just won't stop. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.